Hey everyone. Today I'm going to attempt to answer a question that I get all the time. In fact, somebody just asked me just a couple days ago at the Las Vegas MD Expo. They say, uh, why do you do this? What fuels you? I mean, it, it takes lots and lots of hours. I'm up late all the time. I, I don't get to spend as much time with my family. It's caused conflicts at work. You know, why do you do this? Well, I'm going to try my very hardest to answer this video in one take. So let's see if I can do this. Um, I do this because it's a debt. It's a debt that I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to repay. See, <clears throat> you guys know I did a video of back home, you know, where I, I came from, my roots. Well... What really happened was when I was 13 years old, I can remember very clearly when my grandfather had an argument with my father, and it's because he wanted me to get invested in the technology, and my father didn't really. And I remember it very clearly, uh, the argument they had, because my grandfather wanted to enter into a deal with me that he would contribute half towards a computer if I contributed the other half. And the way I was gonna contribute that other half is if I sold my ATV, my quad, that I loved with pretty much all my heart. Um, and I did. I, I don't think it was even uh, a second guess. I, as soon as I heard you know, of the offer, I, I jumped on it. And that was the catalyst that completely changed my life. That and the fact that you know, my grandfather was a very positive influence um, on my life. He was, uh, he used to do emissions. Uh, he did a lot of the emissions for um, General Motors. So he was basically like a scientist who, uh, you know, did their emissions testings. They couldn't even build a car unless he said that it met emission standards. And then, you know, they could proceed with production. But uh, so I had a positive influence on my life. And it's a debt that I could never repay because, <clears throat> you know, from there I went on and um, I repaired cars for a while at the shop that I showed you. And after that, I went into uh, fixing electronics, um, printers, uh, industrial printers, microfiche and stuff like that. I fixed electronics for a couple years until I went into the military, which spurred this career that you guys see today and um anyway a couple weeks ago uh, as you guys know if you followed my videos that i was back in michigan and that was because i i had a death in the family and i went back to michigan to go to the funeral and to see the rest of my family members but one of the main things i wanted to do is i wanted to go and um, see my grandfather you know he's he's in his 90s and i'm I don't know, you know, obviously he's not going to be around very much longer. And, um, <clears throat> well, anyway, <clears throat> I went and, uh, I, I spent, you know, several hours with him. It was, it was fantastic. His mental faculties were completely there. He remembers everything. He even remembers the argument with my father that changed my life. Um, so I went and I, I held his hand and I thanked him for what he, what he did for me. Anyway, um, I told him about where I am in life and, you know, he knows about what he did. Anyway, I told him about the channel and about uh, all you guys and, you know, the thousands of people I've been able to reach, if not tens of thousands of people that I've been able to reach because of my love for technology. And I can very distinctly point back to that moment in my life when it all changed and I could have ended up some kid back there in Michigan strung out on drugs you know um pretty much going nowhere in life I could have done that so easily matter of fact it was a probable and I didn't because this love for technology has completely taken over my life and I'm just trying to share it with you guys because it's a debt that I can never repay. 
and I know this. So guys, why am I telling you this? <clears throat> I'm telling you all because you never know who you're going to affect, all right? It could be your own kids. It could be students if you go and talk to a school. It could be that Biomed 1 who's at your shop. You know, how many Biomed 1s out there don't even know if they want to stay in the career field? A lot of them. They don't know. You could be that positive influence. And I'm saying this because you never know who that person's going to turn out to be. One moment where somebody changed my life allowed me to do all this, whatever this is, and all the people I've worked with, all the lives that I've touched. Imagine what you could do to all the people in your lives if you just be a positive influence on them. So therein, guys, that is it. It's a debt that I can never repay to a man who's in his 90s, who's probably sitting alone in some uh, assisted living facility back in Michigan. But uh, I did take that opportunity to thank him for everything he's done and for all the lives that he's helped me change. So, guys, take advantage of every single moment and try and touch as many lives as possible because you never know who they're going to be. All right? Thanks for watching, guys.